Hello and welcome back to Adventureland. I've got the Black Panther with me once again and today I'm going to finish building the rest of the Jungle Cruise. We built the entrance here to the ride last time and this time we're going to build the rest of the ride. And we're going to begin with this river bend piece and we're going to continue building the river. And again if you're not sure what texture this is you can watch the previous episode, but I believe it's the dinosaur power disc. I'm going to put three straightaways here. I'm kind of talking through this and just building it, so you can uh, pause this at any time and see exactly what I'm doing here. But I have a lot to build, so I don't want to necessarily stop and comment on everything. You can kind of see what it is I'm doing. We'll flip that around so it's not repetitive. You'll notice the river is a little bit different on either side there. So two straightaways and then the turn. And then two more straightaways going this way. Followed by the turn. And there we go. So there's the river for the ride. Okay. Now the next thing I think we'll do, let's put in the uh, waterfall over here. So we're going to put this initially at this point and then we're going to go up two notches. So just like that. And we'll put the waterfall on the front. Right there. I would love to be able to have that draining directly into the river, but it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. And then down on this end for the elephant pool. I'm going to put this piece right up against the end there and flip this around so it's oriented like that. And then this piece will sit here like so. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and fit in the rest of the terrain blocks around this. Because that is almost it for the water pieces. So I'm going to pick this piece up to get back to this part of the drawer. We'll go to the next size smaller. We're going to come over here and this is going to sit like that. One block down and actually let's slide this over this way. So that's sitting one block above the height of the river blocks. Like that. And then we'll put a couple of pieces in here like that at the same height. And then two more over here at this height. Like that. Three over at this height. Like that. Okay. And then Let's see, what's the best way to do this? Let's go to the next size larger. We're going to sit this piece in here and this has to go up one, two, three notches. So it's sitting a total of four blocks above the terrain. Then we're going to go down, oops, one notch. And we're going to come over to the end here uh, like this. Oops. Like this. So that piece will sit there. And then, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put another one of these in. And we'll put this down at the same level as those. Thank you. 
a couple at that level. This one will sit in here like this. One, two, three notches up. And those will fill in that area like that. Okay. And then over here, uh, actually before we do that, let's come back on the other side of this. And we're going to put this one level up above the surface of that, like so. Figured I better do this one first before I switch my textures. Alright, so then three over that way for a total of four. And then we'll put this large one in here like this. And at this point, uh, oh, one more thing. Like that. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and change the theme on this. So for some of these, this is going to be for the Indiana Jones ride. So we need to switch this to King Louis Ruins. I'll set that to be my theme for the moment. And we're going to change this big block too. And I'm not planning to build that ride today, but we need to put these pieces in to kind of block in the uh, Jungle Cruise ride. All right, so there we go with that. And now let's go ahead and switch back to this other theme. So we'll go ahead and style this one more time just to get back to Dinosaur World, and I'll set that to be my theme. All right, so there is the basic blocked in terrain. And now we want to add in some additional terrain details. So let's come over here. We'll pick this piece up and put it down, which gets us back to that part of the drawer. And if we go to the right, we come to these tunnel pieces. And we're looking for the cave wall piece. We're going to put a few of these along the back here, like this. And let me pull up my screen grab so I make sure I put this exactly where it's got to go. I have a lot of screen grabs here, so this is going to take a moment for me to find this. But, um, of course, you think you have this organized before you start doing the uh, video, and then you find out you really don't. All right, so we're going to put one, two, three. Yep. And then we're going to switch to the cave ceiling piece. We're going to put this over here like that. So we're creating a very large overhang, but it does not go all the way down to the end. That's important to note. All right, and then we'll come back over here to the waterfall pieces. We're going to put the first one up here like this. And we're going to put this one over here next to it like this. And you're probably thinking there's no water up there. Why are you doing that? Well, from the player's standpoint, <laughs> they're never going to know that because they're down on the ride. So there is the waterfall for that. And then I think if we go to the left, yeah, then we find these cliff ledge pieces. And we're going to put in some uh, edging up here. We'll start with this small one. This is just so this end doesn't look quite so flat. 
And this piece will block the river, so we got to go up a notch. And to counterbalance that, we can come over to the left. And we can pick up this uh, round terrain edge. Put that there like that. So it kind of makes sense that we got a little bit of a rocky thing standing up there. So there's our entrance to the cave. And I don't really care that the back end of this is flat because the player isn't really going to see that, more than likely. All right. Now, coming back over to the right, I want to pick up this uh, small rocky terrain block, too. Let's come over here. We're going to put this one like that and try to cover up the fact that that's so square. And then we'll do the same thing over here on this side, basically. And I believe that's going to sit in there like that. Let me double check <laughs> if I can find my screen grab. Yeah, just like that. And we'll flip one around and put it behind it like that. Okay. And then we're going to put another one over here like this. And another one over here on this corner. And we're going to take this piece here and raise this up. This should be at this level. So that's kind of creating a nice little barrier for the ride. All right, then we'll pick this piece up again and put it down, which gets us back to that part of the drawer. And <laughs> where is that screen grab? There it is. Okay. So we're going to put this piece about one block in from the edge there. So you're going to go two little nudges or one block like that. And then we'll flip this around and put another one right here. And if we come to the right, we have the we have this waterfall piece. We're going to put that right here like this. And we'll put another little front on that for that waterfall. So there we have that. And then coming over here, make sure I get this lined up correct because we're going to put two of these on this corner. I need to find that screen grab. Yeah. So that's going to sit there like that. This one is going to sit over here like this. So that looks pretty good. And then I think that's just about it for the terrain for today. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is put in the plants. And I'm not going to show you how to put in all of these because that would be incredibly boring to watch. There's a ton of these. But I'll show you which ones I'm using and I'll style them ahead of time. These are plants you're going to want to style ahead of time because uh, <laughs> they're just it's just not going to work real well if you don't. Um, the bounding boxes on these are going to be okay. And uh, you're not going to run into any collisions. And this thing is really tall right now, as you can see. But once we style this, 
and I'm going to use the Pirate Strip 2. I'll set that to be the theme for that piece. Now you'll notice it's very much shorter and the top of that is the same height as that block. So that means I can put things on top of this block that will stick out over, over it. And it's not going to be any collision issues. So I'll put three of these across the front and that hides that really blocky surface there a little bit. And then over on this corner We're going to use Fantasy Terrain 3. And we're going to orient this uh, Let's see, not that way. How does that get? There, like this. There we go. Okay, so that's going to sit like that. That little sprig on the base is off to the right. And we'll go ahead and style this. Not that that really matters, but for this piece, we're going to use Pirate Terrain 3. I'll set that to be my theme. So almost every one of these that I'm going to put down is going to use this theme. Okay. And when I'm done, you'll see there are a few that don't. And I'll show you the difference. But let me go ahead and put this in here. And we're going to just kind of fill in this little area a little bit, like that. And that's really what you're doing, is filling this in. For this one, we're going to put this little piece right in here like this. And we'll set the theme on that one to be the pirate theme as well. I'm using the pirate theme for almost all of these. And there is that. Now, in addition to those trees, we are going to intersperse some palms and some other pirate trees. So if you go left from those, we have these uh, pirate palms here. So you can stick one in this corner like that, which kind of fills that in a little bit. We also have these pirate trees, and these are really good for overhanging the river. So like this one, for example, if we put this up over like this, I can't go any further that way, but I can go like that. And that just creates a really nice overhang for the river. And so I'm going to be using a lot of those. And they, <clears throat> as you can see, those take up a lot of area. So that will help fill the space pretty well. And that's really all that I'm using, um, except for the few exceptions that I'm going to show you when we're done. So at this point, I'm going to go offline and add the rest of the plants. And when I come back, I'll do a quick flyover to show you what I've got. Okay, I'm back and I've got the uh, scenery all in and you're probably looking at this and going, whoa, this is overwhelming. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm going to walk you through this and I'll show you exactly where I placed all of my plants. Um, and uh, I'll make sure you see that. Of course, if you don't get them exactly where I got mine, that's fine. But what I would recommend is, it took me a couple of hours to put these in, by the way, so this isn't going to be quick, but this is the process that I used. So I put these in first around the perimeter here, as you see. And I think that's all of those on this end. This piece here, in order to get this to fit in here, and you'll notice how it's kind of placed here, um, you're going to have to set this to be like the Tron thing. I'll open the styling menu. If you set it to this Tron rounded corner, you can slip it in underneath here. And then after it's in place, you can set it back to the pirate terrain corner. So that's what I did. And for the exact placement on that, if you start over here, on this corner with these little ferns and you put this in over here of course this goes right up into the corner so this next piece sits out over here like this you have that piece and then you have the two pirate corners in there like that so that's how this one is placed all right and then I've got this little piece up here 
and a corner there. And oh, before I get into that, I'll show you where these little straight pieces are. So this little piece fits in here. Got another of these straight pieces down here. And then along this wall here. And around the corner. Around the corner. Nothing in here. I chose instead to put this out underneath that waterfall. And then this one, this one, one piece in there, and then lined up over here. And then I did a small piece here with the Fantasy Terrain 3 there, the long piece there. And then on this side, we've got two long pieces here and one here. And I already showed you these around. So those are the first ones I would put in place. Then I would move to these trees because these are very large and they overlap and overhang. So since we're right here, we'll start on this corner. And you can see I've placed the trunk right there on that corner going that way. And another one next to that, and another one next to that, which takes it right up against this uh, little lagoon piece here. And then these are sitting here with the trunks right up next to the edge of the terrain there. And another one there pushed back just a tad. And staying on this main island, we've got another one in here. And I'll come back to Trader Sam's thing there in a moment. This one's sitting right on the corner, oriented the way you see there. And then you turn and put this one in like this. This one's turned to face that way. This one's right on the corner, of course. And then on this end, I've got one, two, face like that. Okay, on this side, uh, let's start back here in this corner. So we've got one sitting in here like this, one next to it pushed back a little nudge, rotated this one so it's facing that way. This one pushed back just a little bit. I'll give you the bounding boxes here so you can see, oops, where these are. This one. This one's right on that seam. This one and this one. And then I got another one sitting down here on the ground below. And yeah, it tucks up under there without any problems. Same with one on the other side. I've got two sitting in here like this, one here, you'll notice the trunk is not directly on the corner, it's, it's back a little bit here. This one, same thing, there's a little bit of a distance there, and then I got three of these lined up along here. And up here we have this one sitting in here like this. This one sitting in there like that. And those are oriented like so. And over here, this one's pushed back a little from the edge because I had to have this one sitting out here on this corner. That one's sitting in there like that. This one's oriented with the trunk facing away from the player as they're coming around the lagoon. This one's sitting on the corner here. And then this one's sitting on that corner. That one's sitting like you see there. I've got this one sitting on that corner. And 
And then we have one down here on this little corner. And a couple of these positioned under here like that. Okay, so once you have those large ones in place, then you can start putting the palms in. And you can fit these in around in the holes to kind of plug them a little bit. I put a couple over here behind these, and I'll come back to those pieces in a moment. Uh, on this main area here across from the docks, you can kind of see how I've placed these pieces here. And I'll turn the camera in a moment so that you can kind of get a good look at where those are and how they're oriented. I've got two of them down over here. And then up on this thing around the lagoon, we've got three along the back. And a couple of these smaller pieces here on either side. All right, and then on this corner over here, we've got three of these sitting in there like that. And one of these sitting over here with this little guy sitting in there. And you'll notice I've also got a few extra little single palms scattered throughout here just to kind of fill in the holes a little bit. I put a few up in here, like you see there. Okay. And uh, let's see, a couple more over here around the... Uh, camp, safari camp, and a couple of little trees that are standalone. And then a whole bunch of these palms on this little area just to kind of plug all of that, fill that up. And one up here. And I've also got a couple of palms back here. And then I've got all of these that I have not styled that I've set out here. So let me show you how those are placed. So we put this one down previously. I stuck another one here. You can kind of see how these are set. Kind of note the terrain seams there. That tells you a little bit about how these are set. You can see those are hanging off the edge there, which is fine. This one is sitting back over like this. And these are going to be styled in a minute to be the Briar Ridge trees, which will put a nice border on this thing. And again, the exact placement of these doesn't really matter. This one's kind of hanging mostly off the edge of that terrain block. This one's sitting over here. This one's sitting on the corner of this. I did push this piece back one block. This was sitting out here on this terrain seam. And I pushed that back a little bit so that I have room for this. And I also stuck a terrain block back here because I forgot to do that before. All right, and then we've got two of these sitting out here. You'll note they're down about a block from the surface of the terrain block next to it, and there's a gap here. And then over here, a few more of these things. And I have not filled in this entire area here yet. I'll wait until we get the Indiana Jones ride in. But this block here should have been styled to be the dinosaur world. So let me go ahead and change that. This large block. 
make sure you know that I had that wrong. So there's only f a few blocks here that have the Jungle Book theme. Okay, so that is it for the plants for the most part. I'll come back to the ones I haven't styled in a moment. This piece here, you will find this. Let me pick it up. It's under Building Sets Group 5. It's the Tatooine Arched Wall. So that's what this is. This little piece here is where the tiger is going to be, and I haven't styled that yet. I'm going to do that right now. This is going to use the Jungle Book theme. So if we scroll over, it's going to be the Jungle Corner Ruins, and I'll apply that. That's what that should be. Uh, coming around, this is from the Lone Ranger playset. You'll find this in the decorations drawer. It's the tent. You can kind of see how I have that placed. Over here at uh, Trader Sam's, this piece is from the Pirates of the Caribbean set. It's the same thing we used on the docks over there. And a roof piece on top of it. This is also from the pirate set. This is underneath the decorations drawer. And I'll pick that up so you can see where that is. It's the bone chime. And I've got one next to that. I've got one over here near the cannibal camp. And then I've also got these crates. These are from the cars playset. They're the stacked boxes. You find those in the decorations drawer. The little huts over here are the Star Wars huts from Building Sets Group 5. They're the Tusken Raider Hut A, and I've got two of them. Okay, and I believe that is everything. So all of these trees now we can go ahead and style, and what you're going to do is style these to be the Briar Ridge Thing, and I'll set that, uh, apply that rather. And you'll notice they get really big and it puts a really nice border on everything. Excuse me. And you're going to do that for all of these all the way around. This one is also Briar Ridge. This is the terrain corner. And you're going to do those all the way around. And this, these tall ones, will, again, that I haven't styled, these will be the Briar Ridge as well. And you can do that all the way around the perimeter, and that's going to put just a really nice border around the entire ride, which I like. Uh, when you get over to this point, I would recommend not styling these just yet, because these are going to be right up against the... Indiana Jones ride, and if you style those, it'll be hard to add the ride in for that. So I would recommend holding off on these trees over on this end of the toy box. But all the rest of them that I haven't styled there, you can go ahead and set. So that's all for the Jungle Cruise scenery. I'll add the logic for this ride in a future video once we finish building the rest of this toy box. Next time I'll build the Indiana Jones attraction. Until then I hope you enjoyed my video today and if you did please hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know. You can also subscribe to my channel by clicking my photo in the lower right corner of this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.